Ever longed for artistic talent? Get ready to be inspired. Our Lauren Hall is introducing us to some artists whose creations really allow them to express themselves in new ways, and they continue to impress year after year. From sunflowers to snow to the more abstract, all kinds of art is on display at Aspire of Western New York in Getzville, but not for long. The pieces will hit the auction block Friday night. I mean, it's a wonderful thing, and the artists are there to, you know, see it happen and be recognized. Everything here was created by artists in Aspire's I Express program. It provides a creative outlet for adults and children living with a range of disabilities. A lot of the people we support don't have the dexterity to hold the paintbrush to, you know, graciously go across the, the canvas. So what we've allowed is people to express themselves in the way that makes them the best they can be. And certainly the end result is the artwork that they produce, but it really isn't about the artwork that they produce, it's about the journey they take to get there. Stacy Weatherwax is one of the most dedicated artists here. She told us about it with help speaking from her iPad. I am a happy person who loves creating artwork. I have been participating in the iExpress art program for a long time. Stacy's pieces have fetched thousands of dollars at the iExpress program's annual auction fundraiser in the past. This year, she submitted the winter-inspired painting. I love being able to create beautiful art and showing others what I can do, even though I have physical limitations. I also enjoy being part of the art community. Stacy's a wonderful artist. She's been with the program for multiple years, and it just seems every year she has pieces in the live auction. And that's, again, not the end result is getting those pieces in. It's just being part of a larger collective and being uh, valued as an artist. The big art show and auction will take place tomorrow night at Aspire's Art and Wine Celebration from 6 to 9. It's at their location on North Forest Road in Getzville, and you can find all of the details on WGRZ.com. Reporting in the studio, Lauren Hall, Channel 2 News.